This is gonna, this is gonna happen again, isn't it? Uh, God. <laughs> After spending near on five hours yesterday butchering a load of muntjac, we've got a, a mixture of uh, kidney, liver, and heart from muntjac deer. One's quite big, you'll see one kidney is pretty huge. We're not even going to chop this up, we're just going to chuck it in. So We've got a couple of jelly ears growing on here. These have a really weird, some would say unpleasant texture, but they have a really good mushroomy flavor, so I'm just gonna rip this off and throw it into my witch's cauldron. So this offal is almost done cooking. I'm gonna pull the meat out and save the meaty liquor to boil up the haggis in later. Well, should we talk about the next bit then? What's the next bit? <laughs> oh, nice. Show that to the camera. Look. Oh, oh someone's back. Please don't throw up on top of our own supplies. This is a cleaned ox bun. <laughs> Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh, does that not smell like poo to you? And my nose must be it boiled. Smells like, it smells like poo in here. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't even, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Right. <laughs> Sorry, it's your job. Well, what I'm doing is I'm grating the offal from uh, a deer. This is the... Uh, the best way that we found to get that nice gravelly texture that you get with haggis. So we'll be mixing it back through with the stock that we had earlier, as well as some oatmeal, and along with some sage and some other bits and pieces. So what have we got here? We've got sage, lots of thyme, and then a little bit of rosemary. Nice. It's very roughly chopped, but that's fine. And suet fat. Yeah. So Which that... is smoking right underneath us. There it is again. <laughs> Some, someone has kindly cleaned out the intestine of an ox <laughs> and salted it. Leave it like rolled up a bit so that we can so we can yeah, get feed it right it. in there. So we'll just, I think that's fine. So now we're just gonna load her just up. Hold it right over here. I just think that I should maybe do it like that. No, you're right. You're right, I'm wrong. <laughs> How big do you think we should make each one? I think we should go for like a double fist. D really? <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze that. all the air out, I guess, as much as you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> doing. Did you know on the scouts? No, my dad wouldn't let me because his scoutmaster was a paedophile when he was Right, yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, okay, cool. There is a bit of air in there, but screw it. I don't think there's too much air in there. It's okay. It's like a child. No, it's not, George, it's not. Sorry. Unbelievable. Therefore, your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race, about them all you tack your place, pinch tripe or theorem, wheel are you worthy of our grace, as langs my arum. The groaning trench are there you fill, your hurdies like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend the mill in time of need, while through your pores the dews distill like amber beads. His knife, see rustic labour dight, and cut you up with any slight. Ye poors, who oh, mark mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare, 
Old Scotland wants no skinking wear that jokes and luggies. But if you wish her grateful, rare, give her a haggis. Land you that. Land you that. Let's get some of this awesomeness going on. <laughs>